always was told, if someone touches you, you tell, you tell, you tell. They did a rape kit on me. I thought they're just gonna go out in the week and catch them. And right now, my name is on a box, on a shelf that has never been tested. Really stunning news today about the number of rape cases police have never even tried to solve. I had no clue. People stockpiled rape kits. Rape kits. Untested. Never opened, never tested. I was shocked. There was just racks in an abandoned warehouse with windows open and birds flying around. I could understand one city being negligent, but a nation? When you find out that you have thousands of kits, what do you do? We had to bring justice to these victims. The rape kit backlog is the most shocking demonstration of how we regard these crimes. There were rapists who were not caught. And I can't understand what was so unimportant about me. What were you wearing that particular morning? What they see doesn't look like a real victim. Violence against women is a low priority. All of these kits should be tested. There are rape kits that haven't been processed across this nation. And those kits start getting results. Every day, we get another 20 to 30 hits. Over 700 identified serial rapists, just in one city, in one county, in one state. Of course, we made mistakes. We didn't realize the potential. You can't change or fix what happened to one person. What you can change is what might happen to someone else. When you get that list of names, and it just scrolls down, and it doesn't stop, this is something where we can't rest. You don't tell me what I can and can't do. And all it takes is focus, dedication, and commitment. The system should be more accountable. I am evidence that this is not just a kit. This is a person.